You could argue that summer 2020 has both dragged on and absolutely flown by, but there is no disputing the heat. Actually, it wound up being one of Buffalo's hottest on record. The rankings and some other hot facts are in this week's Heather's Weather Wise. Let's take out the suspense right off the top. Here's the list of the hottest summers in Buffalo since 1940. These numbers are the average of each high and low between June 1st and August 31st, meteorological summer. Now let's break it down a little further. Summer 2020 had 11 days reach at least 90 degrees. 35 days hit at least 85 degrees. That's part of a trend, by the way. Climate Central traced stretches of 85 degree heat in Buffalo all the way back to 1970. And you can see over recent decades, there's been a steady upward trend in how long those stretches are lasting. But this summer, it wasn't just the afternoon heat. A lot of the nights wound up being uncomfortably warm too. Just 16 nights all summer had temperatures that were cooler than the daily normal. Those are some of the numbers from the past, but a lot of you have been asking what this past hot summer means for the future, specifically what it means for the winter. Now that kind of question is something I expect, but also something I kind of chuckle at too. There are so many variables at play when it comes to determining the weather for a season. Things like global weather patterns, sea surface temperatures, El Nino and La Nina cycles, our favorite polar vortex, and of course, lake effect snow, which is our own unique little X factor. That's a really long-winded way of saying there really is no way to set up a surefire connection between a hot summer and a mild winter, or a hot summer and a bitter cold winter. But just for fun, let's look at the five hottest summers in Buffalo's history and see how the winters wound up. Overall, a pretty good mix of relatively mild temperature seasons and some bitter cold temperature seasons too. There's also a mix of below average snowfall and above average snowfall. Keep in mind the average is right around 94 inches. So, sorry to leave you hanging for a little bit, but that's not exactly helpful when it comes to making a long range prediction. But don't worry, the picture will start to become a little clearer as we go through the next month or so. That's it for this week's Heather's Weather Wise. I'll see you next week with a new topic, but until then, remember it's good to be a geek.